what I find most intriguing about you, General Miller, is isn't not necessarily what not only what you do in uniform, but what you do outside uniform, serving others. Would you mind sharing some of your uh, your passions outside uniform, and perhaps a personal story that has touched more than others? Yeah. So I work with Mother Teresa's Missionaries of Charity. I'm a co-worker, uh, which means I. Uh, uh, I'm a step above a volunteer. A volunteer comes every once in a while. A co-worker? You're committed. <laughs> Mother Teresa says you're committed as a co-worker. I'm committed. And uh, when so, I was... So so what does committed mean? Does that mean so, uh, like how many hours? What it, does that mean? It means uh, when I was a two-star, uh, I would leave the Pentagon on a Friday night and I would go do... Uh, I'd go to the Sisters Convent where we had 40 men and 12 women that we had pulled off the streets. Um, homeless that we'd put off the streets and they lived there the rest of their life. Um, and so on Friday nights I'd go and I'd do uh, night duty. So I'd take care of the women and take care of their needs, whatever they needed. And then uh, the next day help the sisters all day cleaning and feeding and doing everything that we needed to do. Saturday night, two Capuchin friars, two uh, Missionaries of Charity sisters, and two of us would go on the streets and we would uh, uh, be with the homeless, you know, behind the White House in McPherson Square and we'd take them food and sit with them and pray with them and then we go to Union Station and so it's it's that it's that work it's being with the poorest of the poor it's being with the lost and forgotten Amazing. and it yeah it's the heart that I was given and uh, so then my youngest brother and I went to Calcutta in 2016 mm -hmm. and spent uh, two and a half weeks there served in four of the houses that Mother Teresa had there was a Shishu Bhavan which is an orphanage for 400 there was Diadon, which is a uh, house for severely handicapped children. Uh, Prim Don was a nursing home with about 200 uh, people in it. And then uh, Kalagat was a house of the destitute and dying. And every day we'd get up and we'd, in the darkness um, of the morning, before the lights, before the sun came up, because there were no street lights, before the sun came up, we were, we'd go to the mother house for mass every day and we'd be following the fires of the, of the people living on the streets. And they would cook their meals and cook the refuge in the morning and clean, sweep all up, get off to the side, get on the sidewalk, and live on the sidewalk. And then at night, they'd move themselves back in the street. So every morning, we would we'd be guided to the mother house by the fires. And, um, and then we would serve the rest of the day. We would go to one of those homes. What did that experience personally mean to you? Uh, you know, every morning as we would walk, um, you had to be careful not to step on the little children. There was tiny, tiny babies, and they'd be sitting up and you wanted to make sure that you didn't step on their little hand or their foot, so you had to be very careful as you're walking down the street. But every morning, we'd be met with, a, you know, a greeting. It would be, hello, auntie, hello, uncle, you know, and they'd be talking to us. In the most dire of human circumstances, these people are giving us a greeting. They're not begging, they're not, they're just, it was, um, they're giving everything they had, which is a, which is a greeting. And it was, it blew us away every morning. Every morning, we're like, what? How can this be? And every once in a while, a little guy would, you know, run up and put his hand in your pocket. Auntie, auntie, what do you got in your pocket? Oh, no, no, I'll be back. I'll be back and we'll go have lunch, right? Sisters would go, don't give them money because somebody will take it, right? Because there was people to go do it, but, but buy them lunch. So we would just go blanket to blanket and say, hey, Dad, come on, let's go, let's go buy lunch. And now in Illinois, how do you, do you do something, do you do it similar that you, yeah. on a Friday night, you go to a common or you do something else regarding Mother Teresa? Yes, Mother Teresa has a house in St. Louis. Uh, they have a soup kitchen there and a women's shelter, but I just don't have the time to do that. But uh, but I need to recharge. That's how I recharge. So I go, there's a Carmelite monastery that I have found in St. Louis. So I will go there and um, spend a couple hours either Saturday or Sunday, and usually Saturday. So you Sunday. basically fly, you fly out, you fly... Do you drive or you fly? Uh, drive. It's a 30 minute drive. Okay. Yeah, it's just a 30 minute okay. drive. Yeah, from Scott over to St. Louis. It's, it's just right there. So, you know, you know, I tell our airmen, you have to go fill up with something, whether it's, you know, playing with your children or your dog or your family or what, whatever that is for you. Um, and that's what it is for me. You know, it's, it's just recharging with my faith and, um, and filling up. So, 